Welcome to the sixth part of the pharmaceutical calculations. In this lecture, together with the few coming lectures, we'll be discussing on isotonicity calculations. And these calculations is important for parenteral and ophthalmic products, which will be covered in FAR 222, dosage form 2, but you have to learn the calculations in this course. And in this short lecture, I'll be discussing mainly on the first isotonic calculation method, which is freezing point depression method. First, let us look at the definitions and meanings of isoosmotic and isotonic, and what actually makes them different. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the phenomena known as osmosis. Is where solar molecules crossing a semi permeable membrane from a lower to a higher concentration to establish a concentration equilibrium. And the pressure driving this movement behind is called osmotic pressure. And this is governed by the number of solute present in the solutions. However, also osmotic is not used in our body for the red blood cell even though that we are able to achieve equal osmotic pressure under the same situation in the red blood cell but we use the term tone because our red blood cell is not a perfect semi-permeable membrane which only allow solar molecules to pass through in this case, it's able to allow other solutes such as alcohol, boric acid, ascorbic acid, and glycerin to pass through to achieve an equal tone. So, for the term isoosmotic and isotonic, it can be used interchangeably. Isotonic calculation is very important for parenteral and ophthalmic products, which will be covered in the next course, FAR 222 dosage form 2, mainly about sterile preparations. And to achieve the calculations of isotonicity, we can use several methods freezing point depression method, sodium chloride equivalent method, white Vincent method, sparse method, molar concentration method, and graphical method. However, I will only discuss four, the first four methods listed here. And in this lecture, we are going to focus on the first method. Everyone knows that our water will freeze at 0 degree Celsius. And for our blood plasma, it's very unique. It will freeze at a lower temperature than the water, which is negative 0 0.52 degrees Celsius and by using this freezing point depression method it is very easy for us to calculate the osmotic pressure achieved because the freezing point depression is proportional to one another so it means that if our products is able to freeze at the same temperature as blood plasma then our product is considered isotonic and this is how freezing point depression method derived from it gives you these equations w the weight of the added substance in 100 ml of solutions equal to 0.52 minus A, which is the freezing point depressions produced by the substances already present in the solutions, multiplied by the strength of the solutions, and divide by the freezing point depressions temperature of the adjusting substances or the added substances. So this may be a bit confusing. Let us rearrange the equation. Before we rearrange the equations, you have to be clear that A actually refers to 
the freezing point depression value multiplied with the concentration of the strength in percentage width for volumes. So in this case, it actually has a hidden W just like the B. So after rearranging, you will see a clearer picture. In this case, both sides will achieve negative 0 0.5. So it means that AW plus BW equal to, to 0 0.52 Then the solution or the formulation is isotonic So A is whatever that is available in the solutions or within all the formulations While B is still added up to make the solution isotonic So freezing point depression value for sodium chloride is 0.576 and this means that 1% of sodium chloride solutions will depress the solution's freezing point by 0.576 degrees Celsius. If you have 2% of sodium chloride solutions then the depression will be double and this is proportional as we go with the increasing of the concentration of the solute. First, we look at this simple example. We have to prepare 300 ml of an isotonic sodium chloride solution. Given that the freezing point depression value for 1% of sodium chloride is 0 0.576, by using the equation, we can substitute the value inside. Since there is nothing present, so the A is remain 0. For B, the things added to adjust it, which is the sodium chloride, so we substitute with the freezing point depression value and you will get 0.9%. And bear in mind that the W doesn't reflect the weight in terms of gram, but it actually reflects or indicates the percentage weight in volume. So for 300 ml, the amount of sodium chloride needed is 2.7 gram. Let's see if we have additional items. So in this case, we have sodium chloride already present in the system and we need to use morphine sulfate to adjust the system. So by using the same equations, but in this case, we substitute A by using the freezing point depression value of sodium chloride multiply with the strength of the substances present, the sodium chloride, in percentage weight per volume. So you have to convert the concentrations to percentage weight per volume before you start doing the calculations using these equations. And of course for B, it will be your adjusted agent which is your morphine sulfate. And at the end you will get 4.7%. For 200 ml, the amount of morphine sulfate needed is 2 times the value which is 9.4 gram. What if we have more substances present? So in this case, we will substitute A with 2 values from two different ingredients. The first is the phenobarbitone sodium and the second item is probutol. And by using the same equations, you will be able to calculate the amount of sodium chloride in terms of percentage weight per volume is equal to 0 0.51. And for 150 ml, the amount of sodium chloride needed is 0.77 gram. Thank you for your attention, and by now I hope that you have a clear picture about the adjustment of isotonicity or isoosmosity for our products and the way of using freezing point depressions to calculate the amount of adjusting agents in the formulations.